We're live at the Myrtle Beach Convention Center where businesses will be hiring heroes. We're talking about a job fair for veterans. Details coming up. Employment continues to be a major challenge across the U.S. and according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the jobless rate for veterans was actually higher than the national average mm. and that's at uh, 7%, which is up from 6.6% just the month before. All right, well, uh, News Channel 15's Amanda Kinseth is live at the Myrtle Beach Convention Center talking to veterans before today's job fair. Right, Amanda? That's right, a job fair is coming up here in a few hours, and I'm with Michael Van, a veteran. You were in the Marine Corps, and unfortunately, you have to come to this job fair. Tell me a little bit about your story. Um, I got out of the Marines in October of 2011, and when I got out, it took right at six months to find a job. I didn't get hired on until it was February with Arcelor Middle Steel in Georgetown, South Carolina. And I worked there from February to this past October, and I was one of the employees that got laid off there this past October. So now I'm same situation, just a different year. Now you're back in the job hunt again. How, how difficult is that? It's very difficult. I mean, when I got laid off, I took a $4,000 a month pay cut, and now it's, it's unreal. It's, you know, I started coming back, you know, out of debt from getting out of the Marine Corps and everything and being unemployed previously to now I'm just right back in the same situation again. All right. Well, we wish you a lot of luck. Um, this job fair today for veterans, I think it's great. You know, hopefully it'll help you and everybody else find a job. Anything in particular you're looking for? Uh, mainly trying to find something that I can do, just more or less. I'm trying to keep everything broad and open. Just it might be time for career change. So. Just anything at this point, just get back on the job force. Guys? All right, Thank thanks you, a lot, Amaran. And, uh, you know, these guys, they, they leave their families, they leave their yeah. homes, their jobs to go serve overseas and come back. So I think it's a great thing, and especially those employers out there uh, opening their arms and saying, right. hey, we want to hire you. So Exactly. The job fair is this morning at the convention center, 9 to noon. We put up a lot more details on carolinalive.com, and walk-ins are welcome. You don't have to be mm -hmm. registered. I think that's the best part. Yeah, that's a good <laughs> jobs, great news for veterans looking for a job. A handful of organizations are teaming up today to help make the process of finding employment just a little bit easier. News Channel 15's Amanda Kenseth is live at the Hiring Our Heroes event at the Myrtle Beach Convention Center. Details on today's hiring fair. Good morning to you, Amanda. Good morning. That's right. I'm with Vietnam Vet Sam. And uh, what brings you here today? Well, I've come for the job fair today. I uh, went through the veterans office and found out what was going on. And um, thought it'd be a good opportunity for me to come and uh, talk to some of the employers and uh, maybe get a full-time job. Yeah, how long have you been looking for a job? Uh, off and on for a year uh, when we first got here. Uh, I'm working part-time now and looking to get something more permanent and more uh, stable for my family. Sure, absolutely. Well, what brought you to the area? Well, actually, uh, my father used to bring me to the area when I was growing up to vacation. I brought my family down here about four years ago, originally four years ago, and they fell in love with it, and my wife got a job, and here we are. Yeah, it's a great place to be. Even better if you can get that full-time job, No, right? that's right. Well, that's it's, right. it's really great what they're doing today, you know, this job fair for the veterans. And we were kind of discussing, you guys get a lot of benefits and, oh, and yes. whatnot. Oh, yes. That's how I found out about the job fair. Uh, I was in the veterans' office talking to them about some benefits, and uh, actually showed me some benefits I didn't even know I could get. That's and good. so uh, I thought that was very positive, and now I'm set up, uh, getting set up with medical and and uh, other benefits that I, I didn't know about. So that's great. Well, good luck to you well, today, you. and good luck to anybody who's coming out here for the job fair, guys. All right, thanks a lot, thanks man. And that's the thing. I mean, they can go out there, and there may be a lot of different programs, different uh, grants, that sort of yes. thing that, that they're eligible for, they might not know about. They don't even know about it. You're yeah. right, all these different services. And you can actually just walk in on site today to this job fair. That's really great. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be pre-registered. It's from 9 until noon at the Convention Center, and we have more details on your website, carolinalive.com. You're watching Good Morning Carolinas with Jason Glassbold, Crystal Costa, meteorologist Darren Stack, and Amanda Kinzer. And a very good Wednesday morning. Thanks for waking up with us. You know, finding a job these days can be tough, especially for some of our veterans returning from a tour of duty. News Channel 15's Amanda Kinseth is live at the Myrtle Beach There's Convention like Center for the Hiring Our Heroes event, where the focus is about getting veterans back to work. Right, Amanda? That's right. And I think today, Charles, is your lucky day. You're coming here to the job fair in a few hours, and uh, I think you're going to find something. 
What do you think? Are you optimistic? I am very optimistic. I'm looking forward to the job fair and meeting all the vendors that are there and trying my best to get a position. And in what in particular? Anything in particular that you're hoping to find? Uh, not really. I'm uh, looking for a position. It Just doesn't anything? really matter. Anything that's out there that I can uh, get, yeah. I and mean, you have a lot of knowledge in the car business. I have. I've been in it pretty much 30 years, uh, all of, most of my life. I started out when I was 14, working on cars and progressed up through the ranks, been a body man, an estimator, a painter, a mechanic, okay, pretty Eddie, much all the, of it. The whole thing. Now, talk about how hard it is to find a job, not only right now with the economy, but with your age. Very hard for someone over uh, 55 years old. It's next to impossible. Most employers are wanting to hire the younger people because mm -hmm. they stay longer with them. Uh, but most of your older people have a lot more knowledge than most of your younger people that are starting a job and more dependable and trustworthy, I would think. I know I am. <laughs> yeah, well, hopefully there's some employers out there who will be here today who know that and realize that and hire you and the rest of the veterans who are coming out here and your wife. Your wife is yes, too. Yes, she'll so be out later. Good luck to both of you and uh, really a great thing that's going on here at the convention center, the Hiring Heroes event. Guys? Yeah, what a great program. And yes. uh, it runs today from noon or from 9 until noon. So right. there's only three hours that the fair is open. It's true. Walk-ins are welcome. We put more details up on carolinalive.com. Definitely get out there. It's also mm -hmm. for um, uh, military spouses. Yeah. So that's so a important lot of opportunities out there. Yeah. It is that time of the morning when we check in with News Channel 15's Amanda Kinzen. Yeah, speaking of local jobs, she's talking about the Hiring Our Heroes event happening this morning at the Myrtle Beach Convention Center. And you've been talking to veterans all morning long, eager to, eager to find a job, right, Amanda? That's right, and I'm with Gabe right now. You were deployed, you just got back a couple weeks ago, and here you are looking for a job. You have your master's degree, you have a ton of job experience. So what are you hoping to find today? Um, I honestly really don't know. I like to see what's out there. It's, um, Looking on the internet has become tedious. Um, you just get trapped and go to it, this website, go to that website. So it's nice to put a face with the company's name, uh, maybe actually shake hands. Um, so I'm interested to see what jobs are available, what companies are here. So it's just more of a face-to-face -face meeting as opposed to just being on the internet and just sitting at home. Get a chance to, to dress up a little bit. Um, and uh, put, put my face out there so see see what's available. Sure. Hey, you never know. Maybe some potential employers are watching right now. You never know. Anything you want to say to them? No. Um, <laughs> hire me. Hire, hire me, me, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty awesome. I'm really smart. So, and I look really good in a suit. So. Yeah. Well, you have um, a lot of job experience, but what I want to talk about is medieval times. You were a knight. Can you teach me I a sword fight? I was a knight. I will teach you the sword fight, but it's got to be off the camera because uh, you know, I have to sign a disclosure. Oh, that, okay. So. All right. Well, that makes sense. Well, best of luck to you. Thank and you very much. Everyone else coming this morning really a great thing that they're doing hiring heroes you're a hero so we hope you get the job that you're looking for that dream job thank you man guys you know Thanks, he was Amanda. just joking around but Gabe you know saying that he was you know awesome and this and that yeah but they really are the veterans are highly trained specialists and uh, you know with employers out there they come back from a tour of duty it's hard to find a job they already know they're going to be good employees right they're qualified and mm -hmm. you know they're hard-working dedicated so this uh, job fair is happening from 9 until noon this morning more details on carolinalive.com